Hello and welcome back to episode 21 of The Outer Worlds. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel, and as promised, let's get that gun. Only to be used by UDL personnel, blah blah blah, finds in excess of 100,000 bits, 349 months in an incarceration center, and a personal letter from somebody I don't care about. Early results are promising. We managed to increase the surface tension of the gloop to create a controlled and predictable spread of the substance. Management wants a catchier name, though. <laughs> I told Lowell we're not calling the project Sticky Bits, but he refused to, to refer to it as anything else. That doesn't even make sense. It, the glue particles are nearly frictionless. Yeah, but Sticky Bits, that's a pretty funny name, too. Powell and Chastity have started to show interest in the project, which should be good, but their trials seem to involve covering various hard-to-reach subsurfaces in Gloop and launching expensive equipment at them. I'm going to have a talk with them. Someone filled my underwater drawer with Gloop. I have theories. Chastity used the Gloop gun in our office paintball game yesterday. She said it was a mistake, but this is the third time she's made the same mistake. And she managed to cover the door panel with the stuff. Damn thing's been going haywire ever since. Do you know how hard it is to clean goop? Chastity doesn't, because every time I pull out the latex and solvent, she remembers she has actual work to do. From now on, I'm locking the damn gun up. Unlock the damn gun. Override Chairman Login. Get wrecked. Give me the gun. What? What? Unlock? Please enter pat- What? But I- But I override. How rude. You're attending a company meeting at HHC headquarters in Byzantium and vile dissidents attack the building. What is your priority? Always protect the chairman. You are perusing one of our many UDLs personal safety mega outlet. What? Enjoy our fine selection of employee compliance equipment. When you are approached by a stranger, he makes an offhanded comment that could be construed as an indirect insult to Chairman Rockwell. Berate him, smile and walk away, engage him further to assess his intent. Berate him. You and your spouse have a healthy, loving relationship, but one day you discover that they have been reading unsanctioned stories to your children. Destroy the stories, arrest your spouse, turn the stories into... Hmm. Arrest your spouse. Yeah. Now give me the gun. Gloop gun. The development of this weapon was halted when one of the scientists working on it was killed by marauders, and the remaining team realized that no one understood her portion of the work. How the gloop is produced, how it counteracts gravity, and how it creates and conducts electricity is unknown. All of those things sound delightful. But I see that it's a heavy weapon, which is kind of a problem for me. Not going to stop me from trying it, of course. Did that one shot actually take 10 rounds? Okay, so do I actually not have an ability to fast travel right now? Yeah, I can't. All right, so um, it's just not fair to you or to me uh, to ask me to slow boat it back to civilization uh, and try and find things to talk about while I do it. So that means it's time to pause. Okay, so I was able to find uh, my silly little wandering trader friend and uh, unload some goodies, which means I can move again. And we can now fast travel to our ship, yes? And uh, get on with our day. As it turns out, the thing that was eating up a large fraction of my inventory was the 40 pounds of Raptodon meat that I... <laughs> had in my back pocket. Uh, probably should have figured that out sooner. Forty units. I guess I don't know that they're pounds. Pounds are more likely than kilograms, though. 
because my carry weight is 150 whatevers, and uh, 150 kilograms is unreasonable, even split between myself and another person. Uh, hello. Why am I talking to you? The little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away, getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. Excuse me. Don't interrupt. It's rude. I don't want to listen to your stupid I story. Get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd. Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Who are you? Name's Nioka. I'm the best big game hunter on the planet. You're also the loudest big game hunter on the planet. And the drunkest. Shut the fu- Fair point. I deserve it, though, on account of being the best. My dad always kept his firearms and liquors in different lockers. Said it wasn't safe to mix them. Out here, if you ain't a little buzzed, you're liable to notice the stench of life. The grit in the air. The dust in every drink and the blood on every boot. Yeah, well, I'm Vic, so... Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Um, I'm told that you can get me to an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Back out where? I I don't even know why I'm talking to you. I just I just need to know how to get to Devil's Peak. Oh, you want information for nothing. Very well. I am no match for your nego nego you yammering. Here's how to get to Devil's Peak. Go south. Along the road, not the river. Look for the mountain with devil horns. And watch out for raps and mana swans and marauders and sulfur pits. And you know it'd really be safer if I went with you. You want to reconsider sobering me up? No, I, I actually don't want to be around you anymore. You do what you like, stranger. I'll be here in the meantime. I have a feeling that she might be recruitable as a companion, and I do not want. So, uh, oh, that was part of a main quest. Well, I don't want to do that right now. Yeah, I'll do that one. Good job paying attention to which quest got selected, as usual. Right, our ship is still at the Cascadia landing pad, where we used our fuel tanks to steal some special science gas that appears to be a mutagen if I understood that correctly I never did learn what that man died for in that lab but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter I think I probably have some stuff that I ought to put away And congratulations to me, I remembered to put, push the correct button. Alright, you get in there. I don't know what to do about you. You get in there. Let's just go ahead and put all of this away. Just get it all out. Look at that, down to 50 out of 150. Just by selling off a little bit of Raptodon meat. Pays to do a little house cleaning every now and again, doesn't it? Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? 
I don't know, uh, but you are the shipboard AI, and I am the captain, and I think it's funny. So, it's gonna keep happening. And it would keep happening even if I didn't think it was funny, because I don't know what's causing it. After spending several episodes shooting off my mouth about how I don't have my corrosive pistol. God damn it. Maybe I should start carrying my corrosive pistol. Right? Do I have a silencer mod? That's not a silencer mod. No, I don't. The reason I thought of that is because I was also considering upgrading my shotgun in order to maybe get some better damage out of it. So how are we doing? We should start with the Tinker. Level 10. Let's go up to our current level. See, it's it's really it's really jumping up. There. Not gonna worry about that too much. That probably needs a little bit of doing. Okay. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Wow, that one's already level 19. Dang. Okay, a little bit of repairs now. I am pretty short on weapon parts these days. But we're in a much better position now. So let's go. Our Turn fuel in. cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the groundbreaker. Yeah, I've heard organics say that all the time. Off we go. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. And who are we selling this to? Oh yeah, the sublight people. Is that right? I think that's right. That loading screen said something about raise your engineering skill to repair your weapons without, and I was really hoping it was going to be without parts, but it wasn't. Speaking of which, I wonder if I can just buy weapon parts. No silencer mod. Don't seem to be any weapon parts in that one. How about this one? That's a weapon parts gimme. I think it would be more cost effective for me to start salvaging the weapons that I pick up, but I'm so short on them that I need to expand my thinking a little bit. It just occurred to me that the name Nana Slap isn't about slapping your Nana. It's about being banana flavored. And now I'm sad. Hey, lady. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120 some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. Sweet. The height of ambition for us all. You're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. That's too much of a mouthful. I'm going to stick with Lilia. Do you always send first-timers into certain peril? I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started and you're already on the path to a promotion. 
I hope you kept the Unreliable's engines warm, because I got another job lined up for my new favorite contractor. They're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? How big we talking? Not like Groundbreaker big, right? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. How did a research station become salvage? Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Yeah, sounds like fun. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Who are we worried about? Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. And who are you using me to get to? At least with the Thieves Guild, I had to pass a test. So what shall we do next, eh? Yeah, let's go do the relay. I think that sounds like fun. I did remember that I left some stuff undone on Monarch. Uh, namely, that, that one person wanted me to steal a Borst factory, I believe. Um, I don't know that I'm... Well, I mean, I've already done some side quests off camera, so um, I'm going to continue to do some side quests off camera. And I'm thinking that might be one of the ones that I do, because I think it's just going to be me murdering a bunch of people. Which is fine, but, you know, like, you're going to see plenty of that anyway. There was something about an alternative route, but frankly, I think it's counterproductive to sabotage the thing that you're helping somebody steal. I think it would be better if it arrives intact. Um, and covered in blood counts as intact in my book. So, off to RGB 23. Don't tell me that didn't occur to you. I wonder how important it is that I hang out with my other companions. I don't really care about them. But like, do I have to spend a bunch of time hanging out with them in order to get them warmed up to me so that they want to do their side quests? Reminder, large jobs take Sam longer to clean. Thanks, Sam. Large lockers take Vic longer to loot also, but I don't go around announcing it to everybody. The instructions printed in this manual have been covered by a mostly illegible scrawl. Entire paragraphs are crossed out with frantic lines of dark ink. In some places, the pages are torn through from the force of whoever wielded the pen. One section describing the correct procedures for setting auto mechanicals on a proper charging schedule is mostly untouched. Random letters within the text are circled as though the owner were trying to discover some hidden message within. Good. Good, good, good. Last night I dreamed, and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive so happy. I turned and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was there, her eyes so full of the emotions I know she feels but dares not show at work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming. When I awoke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now, and this time I recognized a face. I had to leave work early today. 
Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look, with a touch of crimson on her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. Yeah, so uh, this is a bad place, and um, that's why nobody wants to be here. What do we got here? Zero mechanicals set to charging, six mechanicals set to patrol. Hostility level, kill on site, hostility overrider for owners active, list of valid owners, Alexander J. Frey. Update security routines. Select from the following options. Begin charging cycle. Noise. And are you charging now? Off you go, that's right. Pass through there. Oh, gimme the gimmies. What is that thing? Did you see that? Oh, it was just sparks. Okay. Don't know why that's a thing, but it is. Everybody's having a nice little charge. A pickaxe? I don't need a pickaxe. I've had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no need, the gifts I can give. And all it would take is a few moments with a blade, a bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes, and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh no, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams in whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd help this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew. The whispers told me to end his pain, that he'd tell he'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not. Not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell, tell, tell. They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can be alone. A place with no whispers. And so he wound up on a relay station. A relay station full of auto mechanicals that he told to kill everyone but him on sight. Not a peep from me. And then the robot blasts off. I guess if I'm gonna continue to be a sneaky boy, I probably ought to find myself a more fitting sneaky partner. And I'm not a sneaky boy, I'm a sneaky girl. The whispers have a source and I have found it, found it. I've taken refuge on an orbital relay station. It is smaller than a worker's hovel, barely a few thousand square meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies to last for decades. It was strange being among common people on the groundbreaker. The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. If only there were fewer freighters docking there, bringing real people from Byzantium, I could almost have made a home free of temptation. Free, free. As I made this place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the ether to reach me, calling out to me to help them, alone, lonely, needing my help. I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the ether, and no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me. It's not. Not. I am not this foul thing that I have feared for so long. It was the voices in the ether trying to make me hurt others. 
but I was stronger than they, and I have defeated them. 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 I have already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and co-workers so much. Especially Delilah. Yeah, I don't think that went well for Delilah. Because I think probably there were some voices left in the ether when he got back. Alrighty. Oh, hey. Look at that, a feather duster. I'm sure that's much more efficient than the acid blaster I've got on mine. Can you believe he called this place cramped? Living alone in this place would be... He's there, Amy. Body bag dispenser empty. Please replace sacreal before disposing of any corpses. Silencer. That's not a silencer at all. I was so wrong, wrong, wrong. The whispers did not stop, not not. They have returned. They howl, howl, howl at me, demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson. Bright crimson, beautiful crimson. I can think of only one way to end this. End, end, forgive me, Delilah. Well, buddy, I'd say that you actually lived pretty well before the time came. Alright, so we got that one open. And then we got that open. Activate relay transmitter. And we're all done here. Back to the ground breaker. Yes? Yeah. Maybe I should go and take them out of charging cycle just so I can kill them. That would be rude. Nothing to worry about, Ada. So from looking at the map, it looks like there are two planets that we haven't visited yet. I'm hoping that there are going to be some additional new places, but you know we only have one more companion to pick up, so I suppose the, the story is going to have to start advancing before too much longer. I'm just constantly forgetting that I can holster my gun. And that I shouldn't just run around with my pistol out like some kind of lunatic. Or somebody might think that the voices in the ether are talking to me. Who did we get this quest from? Is this one from the engineer lady? I wonder if this will help uh, Parvati out on her quest. Oh, it wasn't the engineer lady, it was the other engineer lady. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Uh, indeed it did. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. I got some big XP out of that. I hardly even care about the money. So what else have we got? We could do some faction quests. Oh, that one's pretty much done anyway. Since we are almost out of time for the episode, what I ought to do is just save it for next time. But we can at least get back to the ship. So we're making friends with pretty much everybody. I mean, we didn't make friends with the guys down on the lower decks. 
but you can't say that they hate me either. On account of they're all dead. I can't think of anybody that I've really seriously offended at this point. I mean, yeah, the uh, the deserters on that first planet, they're, they were not too happy, but then I did other stuff for them, and I think they like me pretty well now, too. Haven't seen many faction updates from the board. Is there an option for me to see faction alignment someplace? It doesn't actually look like it. Reputation. There we go. Huh. People don't like me as well as I thought. Deserters. Yeah, see, so this is interesting. There's a positive bar and a negative bar, which I think means that you can make them hate you and also love you. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if it changes to a different name if that happens. In any case, we are all out of time for episode 21. Come back and see me again in 22, and we will uh, turn in that one quest and uh, maybe go steal a Borst factory. Talk to you soon.